Steve, I'm gonna zoom in on your face like you're Colby. Dad's yeah, mad. Yeah, it takes forever to charge. Dad's mad. He's mad he's not gonna get the I'm beamer running beam. today. So what are you doing? I took two exhaust manifolds of the six that I have to work and drilled out the studs and the rear of the two doesn't clear the transmission. So now I have to attempt to cut the bolts off of this one and try to drill them out, which is easier said than done because Reckless Ron took the drill with him to the cabin this weekend. So we out here. One down. It's a big old oof. I hear a 40. Wow! Oh my! Hello. I didn't really talk about this in the last couple videos. Friday night, I dropped these Carhartt snapbacks. They have the uh, newer horsepower and pizza logo embroidered on the front of them in black. I'll be hosting a pre-order for a second round of them. So that will be live at some point this week. Follow all the socials and you'll see that on there. I want to thank you guys so much for helping them sell out so fast. The love and support is greatly appreciated as we're trying to grow this thing. Your dog's cooler than you, Marina. Deal with it. Hi, Mom. I have six of these exhaust manifolds laying around from the three different heads that I have, right? So this one bolts right up, good to go. This one I took to work and cleaned up the studs. Go to put it on there. Oops, it hits the transmission. Wrong manifold, right? Well, here's the one that came on this engine. I need to drill out those studs yet. Bolt that up. Clears the transmission. So that's our next step. But I have friends over, and Nolan's also here. We're, we're gonna deal with that probably tomorrow. Booker showed up. He's got a full house. Everybody's just kinda over here vibing. This is our friend Timmy. He came to help us get done. Booker's here to not screw around. That's hot. He's gonna run at some point, I hope. It's gonna be the happiest day in the world when Ron comes home and this is no longer in his garage. That day will come? Hopefully tomorrow. Do you need a washer? Your hands dirty? Yeah. The person's a McRanger. Uh, I got tea back. He got hit in that like two weeks ago. What do you drive here? Uh, that pilot is parked out front. Is that tight? It's good and tight. So is this thing gonna like smash a set of tires tonight? I mean, considering the tires that are on it are chunked as probably not. I'll drive it to the target meet if it's running. You, you gotta get 17 wheels. Because right, all the, the tires we pull off are 17. The 17s. ones that I gave Adam, the ones I gave him for the E36 are 17s. He you said mean, he'll give them back. Your, where's your prod boy? <laughs> no, no, in that box. You brought this whole box. I'm on. Go ahead, drop it down. It's in. We're on now, dude. We're on now. You both sides? Yeah. Water, Put some in the oil to keep the piston from seizing up. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, man. I'm full of them. I'm full of good, bad ideas. Plug a couple things in, she's ready to rip. You have like Glevos and stuff, or just pretty hot. What? Glevos? The thing that the, the thing that goes into the dryer shaft of your Oh no, we're fine. <laughs> I was saying that I want to worry about that. I, I, I guess I got all the important wires over here. Do you know where they go? Where's where's this one go? This one should go to the alternator. I'm not sure what Booker has so far. This is Mike, this is my boss. We out here. <laughs> yeah, Mike stopped by. Booker's here. Timmy. He's a real MVP here. 
because he shows up he's like why is the engine not in the car because we were just kind of hanging out and Booker and I were gonna work on it tomorrow what 45 minutes later this is what we're at Something like that. this engine mount needs replaced and there's a couple other things we're gonna tie up but engine is in the car that's the that's the big deal so we are getting somewhere now we out of here on Sunday so Bailey is leaving us in charge us meaning myself and Poe say hi Poe Hi. So uh, we're gonna try and get the trans hooked somewhat back in and maybe mess with some other stuff until they get back from getting some parts and some food. So while Bailey and Nolan went to go get some parts, Poe and I got the other new engine mount in. So we are good to go there. We're just waiting on a little bit of hardware yet for it. So next we're gonna put the trans mounts back in, get everything final fit there. As soon as they get back, we can finish up the last couple hardware items and then keep chugging away. Booker and Poe here, they threw everything back in. Me and Bailey went to get some hardware hoses and stuff from AutoZone and some breakfast from Sheets. We kind of figured, hey, the longer we're gone, the more likely it is for this transmission to be back in and it's back in, so our plan worked. Thanks, gang. When you open a new thing, a Loctite, don't forget to cut the little thing because I'm standing here trying to squeeze it out. And it's not coming out. You heard it here first, folks. Circumcise your Loctite. So because Advance and AutoZone don't have the bolts that I need to plug this hole, instead of welding that shut, I have old lugs from my E46. So I stuck Loctite on it and it threads right in. From when we last updated you, we had one engine mount in and we're gonna hook up the drive shaft and get the trans mounted in properly. But we had to take everything back out because when you put the engine in, the drive shaft doesn't have a slide yoke. So you have to mate it all in one shot. And so we had to pull the engine back out to line up the drive shaft to get everything in. Back mounted in, the drive shaft's mounted. So we're gonna finish mounting the transmission. Then we can get the exhaust mounted on and then we can finish mounting up the rest of the plugs and all the other fun run stuff for the engine. I call this my hood rat heater core delete. So this is looped from this port here, back to a 90, back into there, all clamped up. That Loctite rod, so we're good to go as far as that's concerned. Vix Vapo Rub, sponsor us. I used Vix Vapo Rub as assembly lube because we didn't have Vaseline. The same thing, it just smells better. Smells so good. I'm bolting the exhaust manifolds back to the head. <laughs> we got the harness and everything tossed back together. Putting the injectors in right now. The coil packs are in. Grounds are on. Fuel lines. Right now, all we have to do, drain the oil, put fresh oil in it, and I have new coolant hoses and We'll have to put the rad and coolant expansion tank and stuff on. Button it up. Pray to the E36 gods that this turns over and starts. Sit wrap, getting a little closer. My headlights are still in the house because I had more tint come for those this week. So I'm gonna rewrap those. Other than that, everything is pretty well finished. So here's how you make the horsepower and pizza approved coolant funnel. F1 racing team coming 2021. Update right after using the new funnel. Yeah, uh -huh. there, we, we missed a hose, apparently. Sometimes when you delete things, you forget to plug other things. Yeah. Oh, you're overflowing. Booker. Min. All right, are we doing this? We're doing this. We're doing it. So right now we have to bleed the clutch. You know, jack it back up. There's air in the slave cylinder, mm -hmm. I guess. This is all new to me. I don't know what's going on. So there's no clutch pressure. I pumped it a couple times. It started to come back, and then it didn't do anything from there. But the good news is when I flipped the kill switch on and the accessory, I didn't try to start it yet, but everything comes on, all the lights come on. We don't get any crazy warning lights or anything. So fingers crossed, we should be okay. Hit the clutch pedal so there's no pressure, obviously, to pad everything apart. So we spent probably the last hour, hour and 20 minutes trying to bleed the clutch. I don't know, talk to the finger. We think it pushed the piston for the slave cylinder out. Of course, we're getting fluid. brake fluid out of the bell housing. And there's not any more clutch pedal pressure. But we're gonna at least see whether or not it runs.
today, but she runs. Hell yeah. For the first time in two weeks, the E36 is no longer in Reckless Ron's parking space, which he'll be very happy about. As you saw, it runs. None of this would be possible without my um, purveyor of terrible decisions and his trusty sidekick, Poe. And of course, Nolan was here and helped us and the just, jorts. yeah, just rocking them jorts. Be sure to check socials this week for the hat pre-order. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Go for you. Oh, I beat you to it. Buy these hats, they're hard.